We're going to run a quick tutorial on how to program the second collar, the IQ Plus collar, to a tr existing transmitter that you have. Well, the transmitters now are two dog transmitters. I don't even sell a single dog transmitter. You have a switch up here, switches back and forth from one to two. Okay, so we got all the understanding of NIC continuous and pulse. We understand where the magnetic dot is on the back. That is a magnet that turns the collar on and off. We have a blank transmitter here. This is a replacement transmitter. It's not been programmed to any collar at this point. So green light means it's fully charged and we're ready to start the process. Pocket knife, open new box. IQ Plus collar inside. Most of these collars come factory charged, but it certainly doesn't hurt to charge your collar before you go through this. But this one's factory charged, and we're going to go right into it from here and see what we got. So let's just turn it on and make sure that it does indeed come on. So you saw the green light come on. Now we're going to flip that transmitter over and push the button, prove that we have a collar that is not programmed to this transmitter. So once Emily gets it turned on, it's blinking a continuous green. We're pushing the transmitter. We're getting nothing from this collar. Okay, so here we go programming this collar from scratch. Step number one is what, Emily? You hold the two red dots together until the green light on the collar Once one should get them lined up. Green dot light comes on. Blinks rapidly. Starts blinking rapidly. Switch your switch over to two. Then hold Nick and continuous at the same time. Okay. Well, crap. I'll have to do it again. I didn't do it fast enough. Alright, so failure number one. <laughs> Try again. Alright, let's turn the collar off. Turn the collar off. To start from scratch. Blinks rapidly. Switched to Nick and Continuous. Now the collar is vibrating. So you can see when she pushes the vibrate that the green light comes on steady and this collar is programmed. So, took two tries. What went wrong the first time? I didn't move fast enough. Okay, so just didn't move it quick enough. Yep. But that in three minutes or less is a miniature tutorial on how to program IQ additional collar to a transmitter. Okay, have fun.